What's up guys? Today I have with me a special box. Um, I'm going to be starting a new pair of customs. I saw someone tweet a picture of custom Union Jordan 1 Lowe's and I thought they looked so good. I loved the Unions when they dropped the black toes particularly, um, but I mean that drop was a mess, everyone knows that. Super hard to get, now they're going for like, I don't know, $900 or something. So as much as I love the Union Jordan ones, I'm never gonna get them. Jordan Lowe's have been on the come up recently, and when I saw this picture of this guy, he actually just, I don't remember his name, I'll tag him below, but um, he just painted one of them and because he said it was so much effort so that's scaring me a little bit who knows how long this is gonna take but right here i have the box i'm about to get started um so these are black toe jordan one lows i mean they're fresh already honestly i don't love what they did with the tongue how it's like um this little 23 tab and then um jump man like i like the original tag and stuff they have but i mean these are fresh in itself and hopefully i'm about to make them even cooler and turn them into some jordan one union lows so let's get started all right so the first thing i'm going to do is the edges so the edges on the unions have kind of a yellow i'm going to try and mix together a little gold color and then i'm going to have to use a really tiny brush just to Hit the edges really carefully. Alright, so I got a lot of the yellow down. It's looking pretty good. Um, it definitely took a while because it's yellow on black. It needed like two layers at least of paint. But the brush is so thin, you can't really fit that much paint onto it. So it's a lot of going back and forth, back and forth. But Looking pretty good so far. Up next, I'm going to do the um, inside. So on the unions, it's gray. The, um, what do you call it? Insole? Liner? The liner is like light gray. But since I'm putting on black, I'm gonna do um, a layer of white first and then put the light gray on top. So I'm gonna do white paint and then um, mix it with too soft so it can go on the soft fabric. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely up. Next, I'm just gonna paint this um, little lace tab black. Side. All right, next I'm gonna mix together this gray color, which I'm gonna paint up here for like the upper part of the shoe. All right, so up next, I mix together um, kind of a cream, yellowy, off-white color that's gonna go for the midsole because um, the midsoles on the unions are, they're not quite white, they're a little bit yellowy, like cream off, it's like a vanilla color, I think that's the same as the um, Travis Scott Jordan ones too, so just gonna paint that onto the midsole. We'll have a trust, yeah, no I don't wanna waste what's left. Just a quick comparison, I painted the midsole on this one and I haven't done this one yet in like, I just think it's crazy. It's such a subtle color difference between the, you know, the vanilla white and the regular white. And I think this one looks so much better. Just the slightest difference, but it just looks so much better. All right, so up next, um, the top part of the tongue is white on the Union. So I mixed together white paint and Too Soft again, just to paint this top portion white and um, kind of cover up the Jordan logo as well. Alright, so I just finished the stitching on here. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it was so hard. I mean, it took me hours just to push it through here. I mean, this, this part wasn't so hard to push through, but this part was. So just, I had to get a metal thimble. Um, I actually had this little, like, plastic thimble at first, and the needle would just push right through this and stab me. Like, I honestly stabbed myself so many times, like, from trying to do this, but worth it, worth it, right? So yeah, I got the blue thread all the way around. Um, the thread is actually pretty thin, I realized, a little bit through. This is what it looks like, the type, like how thick it is, so it's like pretty thin. I used the entire royal blue roll though for this. You'll see on this part, that is with just one um, thread going through, but I figured out basically how to double it up. Um, and push it through like two at a time. So on these parts, it's a little bit thicker and I think it looks better like that because you can, 
actually see it. So yeah, looking pretty good. Um, I also definitely can't push it through this part because this is like extra thick, so I'm gonna have to stop it right there. But yeah, I think it looks good. Um, so next I wanna try and do the exposed tongue. So, you know, on the unions, the, the, it has like the tongue um, kind of exposed. I think that the spongy part on the inside of this is gonna be black. On the unions, it's kind of a yellowy color like that. So I actually might have to I'm going to cut like the edge, just the edge, so that this um, seam still holds it together. But basically cut off the top part and then it's going to expose the black sponge. And then I'm going to paint the black sponge yellow so it looks more like that sponge. But uh, they've been doing this kind of exposed look on a lot of shoes recently. Like not just Nikes even. I have um, a pair of Adidas. See just like this. These are actually Adidas shoes. And on the tongue it has like, you could see the yellow foam part showing through actually. And um, on these... And to uh, Tailwind 79s, these have it. So basically the unions have kind of an exposed tongue like that. And, um, oh, and the Sakai, Sakai's, one of the tongues on the Sakai's is like that too. So it's definitely, I think it makes shoes look really cool when it has that, so. Um, but the sponge on the inside of these tongues is gonna be black, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna have to try and paint it to make it look like that color. <laughs> Through my shadow, through the sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Okay, so I cut off the edges. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna like try and straighten it out a little bit, but um, like I predicted, the foam is black. So I'm just gonna go in and paint it white, give it a little bit of a yellow tint. I probably could have cut this before I painted this so I could just paint it all together. That's definitely an important touch. You can see just in the comparison from this to this, like that raw edge makes it feel more like a union. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I straighten it out a little more, but uh, yeah, it worked pretty well. It's still, because I still left this seam here, it's gonna still hold together. So just kind of separated these layers right here. problem going on I mean I know normally like when I was painting on here I had to paint a lot of white layers before I could paint the gray because it was painting on black you know the black's gonna show through so I was expecting to have to paint a couple white layers on here before I did the yellow because the black's gonna show through but as you could see here when I put the white on this foam it's seeping down into this fabric so like Oh, it looks like I'm spreading it onto this part right here. But all of this is the white paint. It's sliding down from the tongue. So I don't know if this foam is really going to hold paint. I mean, I I'm, can try. Yeah, I, don't, I just I don't really know what to do. I might just have to leave it kind of like this. Or at least it probably won't be able to get to the full yellow color. But, um... I mean, at least it's on the back side of the shoe so no one can see this paint. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is going to be something I'm going to be able to fix or not. Alright, so I've got the exposed tongue all painted. I honestly, I don't love how the tongue's turned out. I mean, you can just definitely still tell that there's black underneath. Like here's the, um, the Adidas ones with the exposed tongue. The color is like pretty similar, but because the black is showing through it, it's just still not the same. But I mean, again, it kind of matches what's going on here on the edges. So, um, you know, as long like as long as you're not looking at it this close, I think on foot it will look good having the tongue exposed, and you can still see where the white ran down. Basically, I prevented it from just running down by just you taking the blow dryer and uh, trying to get it to dry pretty much right after I put the paint on and it works so now it's time to lace them up all right guys so for the laces uh, I, it actually took me a couple tries to figure this out so um, I what I ended up doing is I just laced the black laces from in this bottom section and then for the top section I ordered a pair of cream laces and when they came they came like 
way more tan than cream, like they were not the color of the unions at all. So I ended up mixing to get together a color paint for the cream laces, mixing it with too soft, and then I dyed the cream laces. Um, I like soaked them with paint in the cup blow dried them for that. So basically it's two sets of laces here. The black ones are just tucked inside and then the cream ones are just tied at the top. So um, it's not ideal because it's kind of like a fake lacing system but for the purpose of it it looks good and as long as I set them up, you know, spin that extra mat when I'm putting them on, they'll be fine like this and no one will be able to tell. So and the color is like pretty accurate now versus the tan that was before. So all finished. Um, I'm super happy with them. I think they look sweet. Can't wait to rock them. Let's take a look at them on feet, yeah? Okay. spent about 20 hours on these. I have no idea. I didn't time it, but it definitely, I had to spread it out over a lot of weeks, and um, I'm just super happy with how they turned out. It was definitely worth it. Um, this is probably my um, eighth or ninth pair of customs so far. I, I, I'm trying to think of all the ones I've done. I, I guess I didn't really keep track very well. I think this is the ninth pair I've done. Um, and first time doing a pair for myself. I'm super happy with how they turned out. Every time I do a pair, I get more ideas for more pairs in the future so I'm definitely not slowing down I have a lot of ideas coming um, definitely people I'm in contact with who um, I'm gonna be making shoes for soon there's a couple pairs that I've already finished for people sent them off they have them but they're not re ready to share them with the public yet so um, waiting for them to you know maybe start their season or find a special occasion to rock bring them out but um there's a couple pairs on deck and I uh, have some ideas for what's coming next so hopefully going to keep making videos for them. Um, I definitely learned a couple things I can approve just filmmaking wise but yeah let me know what you think. If you think these are sick, if you have any ideas for shoes, who you think I should paint them for. Um, I definitely want to keep working on this so thanks for watching and see you guys soon.